hello everyone so in this session we are going to see about holding and breaking concept so here we'll be discussing how to uh, make a output permanently in the high state until and unless we stop it okay so let us see how to do this okay generally what we do is we have an no okay and we are having suppose an output okay so generally what happens is whenever you are activating this no contact the power will start uh, transferring from here to this output and the output will be in the high state okay as soon as you release this no okay so basically if you deactivate this no the output will be in the low state okay so basically we can imagine that this is our push button suppose this is our push button which is initially not pressed okay so it is in no condition okay so when you are pressed push button the power will start going from here to this output and the output will be in the highest state okay so when you are releasing that push button again the output will be in the low state but our requirement here is the output should remain in the high state even if you are releasing the push button okay so how to do this that is what we are talking about is holding circuit okay so here we'll be seeing how to hold any output okay so let us see how to hold the output using the logic so i'll what i will do is basically this is our input okay and this is our output so let us see first of all so i have taken some text c here i have some uh, i have taken some text this is our start push button okay so the, it has been given the address as i0.0 .0, and we are having a stop push button which has been given an address i0.1 and the motor a motor one okay so this this is the output basically which we want to turn on and off according to the input changes okay now first of all we'll see how to start how to use this start push button and the motor okay so uh, in general case let us see what happens see here i'll do uh, i'll put start here okay so this is our start push button and we are having an output here q0.0 right now this is our motor okay so when you are pressing okay so let us observe what happens load and go online and uh, monitor okay so now see what happens in this case So let us observe here uh, when you are pressing this start push button the output will be in the high state okay so let us see see here when you are pressing this start push button the output is in the high state when you are releasing it the output will again go in the low state okay so but what is our requirement is we need to turn on the motor permanently when you are pressing the start push button and releasing it see here when you are pressing it it is in the high state when you are releasing it the output goes low but we want this output to be in the high state when you are pressing and releasing the start push button so what we will do is see here we'll be using the concept of holding so i'll go offline okay and here we'll be using a parallel branch and i'll use an no and close the branch okay so in this way we are having an no here now i'll give the address of this output okay so this is i'll give the address of this output see here uh, q0.0 okay so the output will be folded now let us see what is going on now see here when you are pressing this start push button the motor will be in the high state now this motor is in the high state that is why this uh, address so basically what is happening is address is going in the high state actually okay so it is transiting from 0 to 1 okay so now what is happening is the address is high okay so address is high that is why now this no okay so actually the address q0.0 .0 is high so this no will also turn into nc okay so basically from here also the power is going at 
the here here also we are having a power okay so basically now even if you release this start push button the output uh, will be in the high state because a continuous power from this source okay so from this no will continuously supply the power to this motor okay so let us see what is going on just download this logic and monitor it okay now if you observe when you are pressing the start push button right so when you are pressing this start push button okay i am pressing it okay so this now see the power is going from here also okay now because of this output okay this address this no is also in the high state that is why this is also supplying the power now when you are releasing this push button so, so still if you observe no power is going from here power is not going from here only this no is allowing the power to go from here to here that is why the output will remain continuously in the high state okay so now what is required is we need to turn off this motor okay actually we need a braking circuit here okay so how to use a braking circuit let us see so i'll go offline again i'll use one nc in series with the output okay now what i'll do is i'll just give the address of a stop here actually i have taken an address as stop i0.0 sorry i0.1 now i'll download it again okay okay after downloading uh, i'll go to monitor mode okay so actually we need to go online also on it it may be a bit faster okay so actually the output is high because this motor is in high state okay uh, let me stop this again and then let us observe the output again okay so see here when you are pressing the start push button okay so when you are pressing the start push and push button this motor is in high state i am releasing the push button still the motor will be in the high state because this no is supplying the power so that is why the motor is in the high state now when you are pressing the stop push button so let us observe what we'll do is i'll just stop this push button okay so actually i'll just press this push button so the output will be in the high uh, low state because this nc this nc will become no okay and it will stop the power to go from here to here okay so let us observe so i am just pressing this one okay so here if you observe when you are pressing it the power stops because this has become no now because the nc has become no okay and when i am releasing it again see here we have stopped the output so again we observe here see when you are starting it and releasing it so when you are pressing a st start push button suppose we are having two push buttons and a motor okay so when you are starting it okay so when you are starting it means what when you are pressing the push button and releasing it the motor is in high state and when you are stopping it that means when you are stopping it here let us see the output will be in the low state so in this way we are using holding and taking concept right so remaining things we will be seeing in the next lecture so thank you